Well, if I'm honest, I always scour the net for whatever is out there, publishing-wise, printing-wise, publicizing, events, anything to do with literature. I'm constantly looking at, through the net to see what's new, what's uh, popular, what's trending. And I, I think I came across Crystal Peak one day and I thought, why not send something to them? I actually found Crystal Peak through a Google search of um, publishers and agents when I was looking for um, representation for Folk Dirt. I discovered Crystal Peak Publishing when a friend of mine sent me um, the folklore retelling contest. She was like, this sounds like it's right up our street and she wasn't wrong. I can't remember exactly how I found out. All I know is that I somehow stumbled upon the web advertisement for the contest for the Dark Fairy Tale Retelling Contest. And instantly I'm like, you know what? I can do this. I, I've never entered a contest before. I was a little nervous about entering something like this. I haven't heard of Crystal Peak before then, so I wasn't sure what to think of if it was going to be legit or not. But... At this time in my life, I was like, I had to, I have to apply for something. I have to get my work out there somehow. So this turned out to be a good timing, uh, a good just place for where I was at to start writing. Um, and I was happy that I, uh, I decided to go through with it. I, I submitted my story and here I am now. I'm going to have to give this one to Facebook and its magical mind reading advertising powers. Um, because I write quite well for like to deadlines, I sometimes go around and look for competitions and calls for submissions. And Facebook, in its um, intrusive wisdom, is well aware of this. An advert for this book uh, appeared in my sponsored adverts on my Facebook feed. And I had a look, and I thought it sounded very me. So um, I'm quite glad that it popped up. Uh, yeah, plus one, uh, Facebook intrusive advertising. You're done good. I found Crystal Peak on Facebook. I was looking for pages or groups that could help support me with writing my novel and maybe getting it published one day uh, when I came across them and saw that they were running a competition for folklore retelling and I thought mm, I'll have a go, you know, I probably won't get anywhere with it but I'll have a go. Uh, lo and behold I got an email saying that my story had been chosen to be in the anthology which is very exciting and I can't wait to see it and all of the other fantastic stories in the flesh so to speak. So I found out about this because I have a friend who is constantly sharing like different writing opportunities and stuff. He has his own like little Facebook group that he he would do it in and this is one of the ones that stood out to me and he actually like approached me about it as well to tell me about it and I as I read through the descriptions and everything and started like ideas just poured into me and I knew in a heartbeat that I just had to do it and that I, I wanted nothing more than to be to, you know to be in this. I found out about Crystal Peak when, um, back in the days when I used to go on social media, I was scrolling through um, my Facebook and I found a, um, an advert for a folklore uh, retellings competition, um, which eventually ended up in uh, the anthology that we're, that we're currently talking about. So that was how I first found out about Crystal Peak, was uh, by entering the competition and um, now here we are. So I was part of a writing group on Facebook and somebody posted a link to the folklore competition and I thought that looked like exactly the sort of thing I'd enjoy writing. It was actually for this contest. I hadn't heard of the publisher before but once I saw the ad for the contest I did some research and that's where I you know, learned more about Crystal Peak and decided to submit a story through them. So Basically how I found out about it, I was actually doing a creative writing course at the time and my tutor at the end of the course gave us all a list of um, competitions that we could enter. In those competitions I was looking for something with like fantasy element into, in it so that I can um, incorporate my passion into it and that is how I came across Crystal Peak Publishing because um, they were having a competition at the time about the tales of the forgotten world and that really piqued my interest and I decided to go for it. 
I first came across Crystal Peak uh, through a member of my writing group. She had heard about them from their uh, short story competition and I looked them up. I was too late to enter the competition but I saw that they had open submissions so I gave it a go. And I was aware of them not really straight away. Um, I found them through my NaNoWriMo group on Facebook. If you haven't heard of NaNoWriMo, it's this crazy challenge where in November writers sort of all get together and decide to try and be a bit more social and they write a 50,000 word novel in the space of one month and it's a really good way to connect with other writers, be part of a community and it was on that group I have on Facebook where someone had mentioned one of the competitions that Crystal Peak had run and it sounded really interesting, really kind of fascinating, something that I enjoy looking into. So I think this was their folklore competition they had just released but it was coming to the end of submission and I went online, had a look at submission and I didn't have anything ready to send for that but kind of looking through their website I had decided they, they sound really innovative, they sounded really quite different from the other ones that I'd seen and I thought you know I'd submit, I'll submit something to them and see what happens, uh, see what the communication's like, see who they were as people and see how I, I kind of got along with that and I must admit I worked with Nicola straight away and she was really great to bounce off to really have a conversation about what I was working on um, and that was a great link for me into Crystal Peak, you know, that, that first initial impression was really good. I found out about Crystal Peak Publishing because I went to university at undergraduate level with Kevin who uh, runs Crystal Peak. I was in his first year kind of like for the core creative writing um, module and ended up knowing fairly well. I was I was encouraged to uh, to investigate his um, his venture more thoroughly and uh, ended up <laughs> writing a, a thing for his uh, for his anthology project. Complete accident, really. But no, I, I didn't really go out of my way to research publishers or anything. It was it was more. Um, that I knew Kevin originally from uh, from university. I felt like I was in another one of his classes, but I can't remember what it is now. I probably should know that. That's really bad. Sorry, Kevin. I can't remember. <laughs> I found out about Crystal Peak through a Facebook group called Writers Unite, uh, which I'm also a part, which I'm a part of, as is Kevin. And we spoke to him. We spoke to each other one night. And I had told him I had previously self-published the two books, but I was looking for a more uh, traditional way of publishing. And he asked me if he, I would send him my manuscripts, to which I said yes. And luckily that's how the relationship started, and hopefully it will continue for a long time yet. <laughs> 